Hello, this is my uh, my review of the Thermocell Patio Shield Mosquito Protection Torch. Um, I also have a, a Thermocell Mosquito Area Repellent Refill, which uh, which I'm going to review as well along with the torch, seeing as uh, you need both. The torch does come with uh, with three pads, which are the the repellent pads and one butane cartridge, which I'll show you, uh, as well as the torch and the poles used to make it into a, a stand that you can put out by a fire pit or in your backyard if you're doing, uh, if you're having a get together or just sitting around. Um, so we'll start with the torch. It's a nice unit. The unit itself comes apart on the bottom. You just kind of pinch it and twist and and uh, that's where you'll put your, your butane cartridge uh, and there's some battery spots in there that this torch will actually light up to be honest I haven't uh, I haven't put the batteries in to try it I have tried the torches just a standalone um, unit that I place on my table we at home don't have any place to set up a, a pole in the ground right now I'm out at the cottage uh, deep in the woods we're gonna try it again tonight uh, this this unit, I, I have another thermocell unit, the uh, the handheld one or the one that you can mount on a belt for when you're out fishing or hunting. Uh, and I can't say definitively 100% that I've seen this thing scare away mosquitoes. I can say that while I've been out fishing with my son, I've held up the, the handheld unit, which is identical to this one, just a handheld, and the bugs that were around him kind of flew away. Um, the other night we were out, my wife seems to get eaten alive by mosquitoes and we were out and she, she seemed to be getting eaten and I put the, the thermocell out, it takes a half hour for it to kind of take effect and uh, I didn't notice any mosquitoes after the half hour. It's tough to test a unit like this. Um, you know, no matter what you do, you can always say, well, maybe the mosquitoes we're only out for a short period of time that night or you know maybe the mosquitoes didn't come out at all and I set up the torch and it seemed perfect all night long the mosquitoes weren't there maybe they were there and this thing works um, but I I can say that I haven't been eaten alive when I have this thing set up we're going to test it again tonight and I may throw another video out there after we uh, were out in the woods we have a fire pit that uh, that's all set up and mosquitoes love it out in the woods so we'll, uh, we'll give it another shot but this is just kind of a review of what comes in the box and how it all goes together it's super simple I'm gonna try to set up my my phone here so that you can see how everything works and we'll do our best to uh, to give you an overview so the unit itself unfortunately doesn't come with a stand to put it on the table it just has to stand on its it's a little base in the on the Canadian Tire website it shows that there's a stand that comes with one of these but on the box that I have here it doesn't show anything about a stand for tabletop mounting that being said I've had it sitting on my my table at home I have it sitting at the cottage and it doesn't fall over even if it did fall over it, there's no open flame inside uh, that I can see I can't see it setting on fire don't quote me on that um, but my portable one is identical uses the same heating mechanism and it can be laid down and twisted and turned and put upside down and still does its job so uh, I don't think that's an issue that being said it, it hasn't fallen over the top of the unit comes off when you're ready to use it this is just kind of a a rain protection to keep your your pad from getting wet and losing its ability to send out the, the deterrent for the mosquitoes. In here is a pad that I've been using. I'm going to put a new one in today and use it and I'm going to put in a new butane cartridge to show you how that works. Uh, very, very simple. I'll just get my, my phone set up. Here I am not a, a video editor by any means, so I apologize for the cruelty of this video, uh, but I am doing my best 
to do this on my own. So this, this unit, like I said, all you have to do is kind of pinch, turn, the whole thing opens, batteries go into the side. There's four AAA batteries that are required for the lamp to work. It didn't come with batteries, um, so I haven't tried it yet. I don't need the lamp feature. That's the on-off button for the lamp, but I don't need it, so I haven't tried it. The butane, this butane, one canister will run for 12 hours, um, whereas the pads are only good for four. So basically, for every canister of butane that you use, you're going to need three pads, and that's what it comes with. It comes with one canister of butane and three pads of the repellent. You take the butane, slide it in, and you just twist it. You don't hear anything, there's no hiss, there's nothing, it's just when it's tight, you know that it's there, and it's, it's in. Put your base back on, nice and, nice and easy to do that. Each one of the repellents comes in its own package, which is handy. You know, you only have to open one at a time. There's nothing worse than, you know, feeling you're wasting stuff because you have to open multiple at a time. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere in huge writing that you shouldn't put this on your hands, um, but it is poisonous. So I would suggest you wash your hands when you're done putting a pad in. And it's as simple as if you have a pad in there already, you can just push it out with the new one. If you don't have a pad in there, you just slide the pad inside. There's a heating element in there. It's just a, a platform there, heat, heated platen, that heats up with that butane, and it starts to, uh, to smolder that, uh, that pad. And sometimes you see the smoke coming up. Most of the time, you don't. On the unit, you'll see it says off, on, and start. It's as easy as turning this to the start and you'll hear a click and then if you look inside I don't know if I'm gonna be able to oh yeah you can see it you can see it glowing so that means that when we started it actually ignited the butane and it's starting to heat up that platform uh, when you're done turn it to off and you, know, you can't see inside anymore well now you can if you go there and there's nothing glowing. But if I put it to start, you can see it glowing again. Very simple, couldn't get easier. Um, I've even tested it so when I, when I have it sitting on my, my table, you know, there's times when I wanna go inside and I'm, I'm done for the night. I turn it off, but I don't wanna sit around and wait for anything to cool. I take my lid and I put it on and it hasn't melted the lid. I was a little afraid that maybe because it's a heated element on the top it would melt the lid it didn't melt the lid which was great this lid can only go on because of this that tab that you see right there it can only go on when this is in the off position so you cannot accidentally put the lid on when it's still running when it's still on and the nice thing about it is uh, it will run out of butane it won't run forever uh, it's only got 12 hours of butane and uh, when those 12 hours are up it's it's going to be finished um, so you, you, it's kind of a fail-safe, it's a little bit of wasted money, but, uh, but it won't run forever. The, the refill package that you get is kind of slick. It comes with four butane cartridges and 12 uh, repellents, which gives you 48 hours straight of mosquito um, control. Uh, so like I said, it takes 30 minutes. In the instructions, it tells me that it takes 30 minutes for this to take effect and they're each good for four hours. So you're basically getting a true three and a half hours of protection. Now this unit is, is a 4.5 meter squared zone. Um, so what's that? Just try 15 square feet um, of protection that you're going to get from this patio shield. The, the poles that come with it, <clears throat> there's not too much necessary to talk about there because it's so self-explanatory. Right, you got you got five poles. The top one is rounded on the top. That's clearly the one that goes in the base of, of the torch. And one of them has a point. So that's clearly the one that goes on the bottom. And the other three are just in the middle. Um, it couldn't get any simpler. I wish, like I said, that Thermacell did include uh, the base for this thing. So I'd feel a little bit more comfortable with it sitting on the table. Um, but it, uh, yeah, it, it does stand on its own. It couldn't be easier. You can get them in lots of different varieties. Uh, in handhelds and tabletops, 
and a nice little glow. It, it's a pretty slick unit, but I will again uh, try it tonight at the fire. And if I feel that I really got a definitive answer with the mosquito control, I'm going to make another video and post it. Um, but up until now, I think it works good. I'm not a, uh, a professional mosquito tester, but I have not been eaten alive while I have the thermocell patio shield or my handheld thermocell unit uh, by me. I always feel that the mosquitoes are, are less. Okay. Thanks for listening and uh, good luck with your thermocell units. Bye for now.